Welcome to the St. Michael Weekday Meditations. My name is Greg Pickens, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Easter is blessing. Once you have been transformed by God's love, you can't help but want to share that love with others. This Easter, let's learn how to bless one another by sharing the grace and love of Christ with our friends and neighbors. Joining Christians everywhere during this Easter season, we proclaim with joy, Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him, Alleluia. A reading from Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for forty days and forty nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again, it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. Here ends the reading. Temptations are tricky things. They come in all shapes, and they approach us in all sorts of directions. And believe me, they can derail a life that has been very carefully lived. The thing about temptations is that they invariably play upon our weaknesses, real or imagined. No matter what sort of life we have lived, Temptations will come in the most ordinary of ways, and they will always seem to solve some sort of issue in our lives. Our gospel shows evil trying to tempt Jesus with the things that would appeal to many of us. But as we read the gospel, let's not dismiss the real lesson here. Any temptation is tailor-made for the one who is assaulted. Those listed in the gospel may not tease your particular weak spots, but do not let your guard down. A temptation is a lure, often a dangerous shortcut, to something one desires more than anything. Or worse, a temptation may feed a false desire that, at least in the moment, seems so important that one is ready to give up reality for a mirage. We know about this. We all have had friends who have inexplicably committed some act that broke up their family or damaged their reputation needlessly. Temptations are serious, and they have consequences. Now in the Gospel, we see how Jesus rebuts the evil one and his so-called gifts. Jesus takes his time. He thinks through each temptation, measuring each against his own values, God's values. It is this way of Jesus that is so powerful, how he pauses, thinks about who he is and to whom he belongs, and then Jesus responds. Jesus does not rely upon himself. He relies upon the wisdom of the Father. Now look, We can all relate to the struggles that people face in this life, but Jesus provides this master class to all of us who have had our own gaze drawn away from our true selves by temptations. Our spiritual life is about staying close with the Lord, knowing ourselves, staying true to our values, 
and having a clear vision of what is important, even in the face of adversity. The extra blessing from this lesson is that others can benefit from our encouragement. Gather a community of strong believers so each can bless and guide the other through the hard times and the joys of this life. The Lord provides ways to stay strong and true. Accept the invitation to be true to God, yourself, and those you love and all else will fall into place. Amen. Please join me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread, open the eyes of our faith, that we may behold him and all his redeeming work, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.